different this time oh there are people here the numbers just popped up i'm like what the heck it looks different we're in a new location called my living room hello everybody i'm gonna grab my coffee real quick And Elaine and Chris, Chris and that, wait, <laughs> that's the same Chris and Miss Gail and Elena and Caesar, Glenda Caesar. Hey, hey, everybody. We are here to have a purse sale and a chit chat and all that good stuff. How, how are you guys today? I wanted to come into my living room because there's a lot more space to work. So, welcome to my living room, everybody. <laughs> It's dark, huh? Well, there's a problem every time I come on with somebody, so it is what it is. Hi, Lo hi, Cactus. Hi, Ashley. Hi, Amazing Victory. Hi, Danny. Who else is having dark problems? Thank you, Batik Chic. My plant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm a very, I love my boho vibe I have going on, going on. How is the lighting, you guys? How is the, can you hear me and all that stuff? I'm moving around, trying different things because I'm doing all of these lives. So we're going to be doing stuff differently until I get it just right. So let me know. Okay, Colleen, you think it's okay? See, somebody said it's dark. I don't see on my screen that it's dark. All right, all is good. Lighting is okay on your end, okay? <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, my love. One feline. Yes. Okay, so only one person had a problem with it then. Not a big deal. As long as it's not everybody coming up saying, your lighting is horrible, Kim, fix this stuff. Maybe if I move over here, then you can see me better because i got a dark background. I have a ring light. And um, sometimes it helps, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm doing no ring light right now. Um, it, it literally it just depends. Stormy is probably hiding somewhere. I have no idea. He's in here somewhere. He'll come dancing through in a minute, though. Awesome. Thank you, Elaine. I've got some more good bags, you guys. I got some more goodies, 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 and some good ones. I've got pink. I've got red. I've got denim. I've got chocolate. I got black. Oh, I got to fix this one up real quick because I got to I got to fix it up to show you. I'm really excited about this one that I found. So. Oh, thanks. I'm in my living room. Wanted to have something a little different. I'm trying stuff out for recording purposes. Uh, see which, you know, it's kind of nice to have more more arm space and all. So, yeah, we're going to get this party started in just a second here, guys. I'm just getting a purse kind of all, all fixed up here to show you. Oh, yes, my fuzzy chair. What is this? What's that plug to? My light in the background. Randy unplugged it from the wall instead of instead of turning it off by the, the little, it's a little button you push, which is right. I don't think you guys can see. Oh, yeah. 
right behind this plant is like a standing light. And I've got that at the thrift store too. And it's awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm still working on this purse, hold on. Cause there's a little pouch that connects and you have to see it the right way because it's adorable. All right, I think this is the one we'll start with. Have you guys, if you're into high end brand names, have you guys seen the bag that's called the Prada Reissue? 2005 nylon crossbody chain bag. <laughs> I think that I got all the words in it. Have you guys heard of that one? This isn't a Prada, but I want to show you. I have a dupe for you guys, which means dupe means there's there's no. It's not. It doesn't say Prada anywhere on it. Um, it's by Like Dreams, and it's this adorableness. Isn't this so cute, you guys? Loving this purse. So it's got the little pouch on it. Now, the only difference between this one and the original Prada, yeah, it is. It is super, super popular. The only difference, I went online and I checked um, all the details and stuff on the original one. Now, you can get it, the real, real one, um, through Prada, and it's $1,400 for this exact bag. The only difference is it doesn't have the little Prada label on it. And um, actually, this one is better because there's on the real Prada bag, there are no pockets on the inside at all. And there is in this one. So I just wanted to show you this. It's got the silver chain, just like the Prada bag. It's got the little key holder, just like the Prada. Um, it's got the little pouch. I, I call this the COVID pouch. You know why I call this a COVID pouch? Because it's so cool. You can like put your masks and your hand, hand sanitizer right in there. Maybe you want to put your debit card for a quick grab when you're out and about so you don't have to pull your whole wallet out. But it opens up. Oh, no, I'm not getting the Chanel. I explained that one already. Nope. No Chanel coming my way. So this is a Life Dreams. I think it's Life Dreams. I'm sorry. This is Urban Urban Fit. Urban Fit. So there's a zipper pocket on the inside. And then there's a nice slip pocket on the other side that has my Visine drops in it. I do not know. I was looking everywhere for these things, not Visine, my clear eyes. I was looking for these. It must have like fell out of my purse and into my pile of bags. So it fell in here. Sorry about that, guys. But this is a brand new purse. Um, I will show it on you, show it on me for you. It's gonna be a little interesting doing modeling in my living room. See how it goes like this. How do you let's see? Got the little chain, and then it fits like this. So if you guys want to Google that bag, you'll see this is exactly the same. Isn't it cute? Nylon. And then also the strap is adjustable. So you can actually make it a shorter shoulder shoulder bag as well. So this is my, what did I just say the name of this was? <laughs> This is bag number one, which is Urban Fit. So if anybody wants the exact same bag that doesn't say Prada on it, because it just looks exactly like it, then this is a bag for you. All right, I'm gonna show a wallet now. <coughs> Tickle in my throat, sorry guys. <coughs> this wallet is adorable. I actually bought this from a boutique but I don't reach for it, so I'm offering it to you if you like it. Hey, Cassandra. Hi, Christina. Isn't this adorable? It's a mauvish pink color with the little boho cow on the front with her little sunglasses. And you open it up. It looks like this. Got lots of card slots, and that center pocket is where you keep your coin. For 
brand spanking new. And it's got the little whip stitching all around the entire wallet. Very unique. Okay, so that's the wallet. And like I said, this is not thrifted. This was mine that I purchased from a boutique when Randy and I were out on one of our bike rides and I'm just, I'm not reaching for it. Okay, um, this, do you guys know, or are you, do you guys like the baguette purses that are now coming back in that are really, really super in style again? As a matter of fact, I've switched my things into one and I think I might do a what's in my bag. Um, but I found a gorgeous pebbled red leather and it's in excellent condition by Gianni, what's your name? That's right, Gianni Bernini. Really, really cute red leather with the silver detail on both sides, a nice zipper pocket. And this isn't like really small. This can carry a lot of stuff because of the depth. So let's open this up and I'll show you. If you don't wanna carry a wallet in here, you don't have to because there is an area for your credit cards. And then there's this pocket. Here's another pocket right here. And then on this side is a zipper pocket. So it's really, it's a really, really good size purse. And it says Gianni Bernini here. And like I said, it's genuine leather, red pebble. Uh, my name on Instagram is actually purse trippin. It's purse underscore trippin. You can find me there. Okay, so. This is what it looks like on, it's like it's a great size and it's, you know, a really large shoulder drop. What do you call that? Armpit to waist, something like that. Oh, there's the cutest little Yorkie walking outside my house. Okay, and it's, it's in excellent condition. <coughs> Another tickle, hold on, my loves. I know, I love it, it's cute. Um, I was gonna talk to you on Feline. If you want my Dooney and Burke, um, my Dooney and Burke Haunted Mansion, could you um, email me and we can go over that if you're interested. If not, totally understand, but if you're still interested, let me know because I'm holding it for you before I put it up and I've been so busy, I forgot to tell you that, so. If you want it, great. If you don't, just let me know so I can go ahead and list it. So, okay, now we're gonna do, let's do this one. Just, no, we'll do a bigger one now. We'll do a bigger one. I'm going like switching back and forth. This is a B. Mikowski and it is in a black, really soft pebble leather with a chocolate brown accents. It has little stitching around the front flap. And then the chocolate brown is right here on the straps. Then on the back, there's a slip pocket for your phone. And this is a nice big pocket here. Here. And then it's got a zipper top with the chocolate brown zipper pull. And in it is the cheetah print, leopard, cheetah, whatever you like to call it. It has a, a zipper and two slip pockets. It says B. Mikowski right there. And then on the bottom, there's feet. And let's show you it on. Nice smooth zipper. 
a really comfortable, soft, lightweight, and smushy purse. Good size. Really, really soft. Very lightweight. Okay, so that's my B. Magowski. I'll show you the pebbled leather up close so you can see how pretty it is. All right. Uh, I'm gonna do a fun and quirky one now. This one, I love this one. It's a denim purse. Like there's the front of the jeans. It's got a faux brown leather trim with studs around the edges. And then the handles have denim at the top. And then this is the opposite side. Isn't this cute? I think it's so cute. So unique. You'll be the only one with this bag. I almost kept it. That's why I've had this for a long time. But again, I don't reach for it. So I'm like, all right, I'm working on that house. I'm working on that house. So even if though I love stuff and I was keeping it, I can't be doing that. So I just think it's the cutest little thing ever. Okay, and then it's got a really, really nice wide with like a double zipper. You see how it's got the two zipper pulls? Opens really, really, really wide. You can see everything plus in here. Gigantic. And it's got a zipper pull pocket. There is, let's see, is there a name on this one? Um, hand and heart. I'm going to have to look that up. Hand and heart. It says on this tag here on the bottom. Huh. I didn't even realize that. So, yeah. Handmade. It's handmade. Hand wash only. And hang to dry. So... If you were looking for something super cute, unique, I think this is it. See, and it's not small. It's pretty big. I think I'd probably wear it with the, this pocket on the outside. Put your keys in here, your cell phone, lip gloss. So stinking cute. Okay, so my little denim bag. All right, now we're going to do, 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 you know what, let's do my Banana Republic. I just hauled this a couple days ago, and I know there was a lot of interest in this. This is genuine leather, and it's a double zip, triple pouch. Double zip, meaning there's two zip pockets for your things, and then this one large center compartment for your other things, your quick grab and go. It's by, like I said, Banana Republic. And look at all the room you have with the black cheetah interior, a zipper pocket in this one, and that's a plain compartment. And then this one has two slip compartments in it, leather lined slip compartments. Hello, Florentina. Hello, Annette. I look like a movie star, Suzanne Summers, huh? I've heard that a lot. I don't think I look like her, but I have heard that a lot. It says Banana uh, Republic embossed right here. It's got a nice crossbody strap. And it just, it's huge for a crossbody. And you can put so much stuff in it. It's really lightweight and the zipper pulls work great. Let's try this on for you. Adjustable strap. So it looks like that. And of course you can make it shorter if you like. So this is my Genuine Leather Banana Republic. Not nice. It's a very, very smooth, smooth leather. No pebble to it. All right, let's do this little crossbody. Love this color. This is a uh, Madden Girl by Steve Madden. It's a blush pink with gold studs. If nobody takes this one, my daughter's going to take it because I bought her, 
got her one that's exactly like this. It's like full of sequins and she loves it, loves this purse. She uses it every day. So if nobody wants this one, that's fine. My daughter's going to take it. Um, it's got a zip pocket. You can put your things in. I love the little chain detail on the crossbody strap. It's a uh, vegan leather, by the way. Um, the inside, like the purse is in great condition, but the inside has some little marks that I haven't taken time to wash out. Like, look, it looks like a little bit of foundation got on the pocket. Let me show you the inside. Uno momento, por favor. The heck? What is this? Hold on, you guys. Uh, here we go. There you go. Now you can see there's little marks in there, but that'll come right out with a little dish soap and water. So I love this purse. I think it's so cute. And the top closure. Okay. Here's what it looks like. It says Madden Girl right here. Okay, then, watch out, baby. This one was sent back to me, so I'm reselling this one. This one is a Isabella Fiore. There were so many people that wanted this one when it sold, and remember I told you I had problems with one lady complaining about it, even after I told them it, you know, I told everybody a million times that... It is what it is. What you see is what you get. She returned it because of the spot right here. So there's a spot in the bottom. And it's got whip stitching all the way around. It's genuine leather. All of these little flowers are um, stitched in. It's definitely large. Look at the detail on the strap. Even the little O-rings are surrounded with leather. Oh, I get people that for that will just they just she was giving me so much trouble. I was like, send it back, whatever. I'm I'm not gonna deal with you. So, but whoever gets it this time, from here on out, she's the only one that I work with. I'm not doing it anymore because this bag is gorgeous. And I know a lot, a lot of people wanted it. So um, let's show you the inside. Look at the little detail on the zipper pull. It's little leaves. Isn't that cute? That's the zipper pull. And then inside is a zipper pocket and two slip pockets. Hopefully you guys can see that. Can you see the inside where there's little marks? You bet I, you know what, Nadra, Nadra, whatever you are, you're the person that bought it and you caused me a ton of problem and you filed a PayPal claim and I won. How about that, Nadra? So when I tell you that my stuff is being sold as is, that's what you need to listen to. So you guys, she's the one that purchased it, gave me hell, and she filed a PayPal claim against me. I won the PayPal claim and not good. So Nidra, you are officially being blocked because you are ridiculous. Let's see. Let's see, I'm going to do, 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 remove you. Bye, Nadra. Have a nice life. Yeah, get lost, Nadra. She's the one that, that she just, she got it and was just ridiculous. So I think I got her off of here. 
Oh, honey, no problem, Kristen. I've been waiting for that loser to pop up. She's uh, she's definitely, she gives people a lot of trouble. A lot of trouble. So everybody's saying goodbye. I know you're still watching, so enjoy watching my bags that you can't buy anymore because you are nothing but a headache. And PayPal saw that. Okay, so anyways, if you would like this purse, she's the one that returned it and then filed a PayPal complaint. And here it is. I have it. So let's see. <laughs> Jay. <laughs> Jay, you're funny. I'm going to go ahead and let that show. <laughs> okay. Hi, D Hi, Diana from Mississippi. For real. The, I'm a used purse sailor for the most part. You're, everything I get, almost everything I get is thrifted. There's going to be issues with it. And I showed the bag just like I'm doing now. Every bit of it. And so there you go. Bye, Nidra. Have a nice life. Okay. So here you go. Here's the bag. I am reselling it again. If you would like it, it will be listed. And I want to show you every single bit of it. I want to show you the edges. I want to show you the flowers. I want to show you the leather. She lost out on this big time. This is a great purse. Let me show you it on. Was she was she upset it was used? No, she was upset because there was this spot right here that she said I didn't dis disclose in the sale. That spot right there that I absolutely disclosed. I show the insides of all my bags. Yeah, well, she found issues. She What she did is she had buyer's remorse. That happens with people when you get something and you're like, oh, no, I shouldn't have spent that money. And then you'll make up an excuse to get your money back. So that's uh, what she did. She just had buyer's remorse. Okay, so this is back. And this is the Isabella Fiore. And it can be yours because she lost out on it. So, uh. All right, next. Thank you, Cassandra. Okay, this is a Beautimus Calvin Klein and Safiano leather. This was just recently thrifted as well. It's got the two little uh, Calvin Klein chains here. And you guys, this is a gorgeous uh, bag that looks like it's never been used. Tote. There's a slip pocket on the back. A nice large slip pocket. Yeah, it is true. I mean, you could, I could like send you a brand brand, some, not you, but somebody a brand brand spanking new perfect bag and then they'll get it, wish they didn't buy it and then make up an excuse. So that's why I say, if you don't want to purchase anything here, don't do it because you're not going to get your money back. Make sure it's what you want. I mean, and if you see something on here I'm showing right now, ask, ask me a question. Okay, um, center zip pocket, and this side has two slip pockets, and this side has a zipper pocket. I love this purse, too. I love all of them. <laughs> okay, let's show you this one on. Let me show you the bottom too, the corners. You want this one, Roxana? Isn't it nice? I love how it's got like the little um, cutout right here. It just gives it extra character, right? And it says Calvin Klein right here. Easy grab and go. Store your wallet in here, you know, stuff that you, you want to keep more safe, put in here. So I like the clinkies. Does anybody else besides me like the clink on a bag, like chains and, and you know, am I the only one? <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, this is an excellent condition, this one. No marks, no nothing. I just love it. Okay, and then, oh, um, I had a viewer send me this, and since sh I, I believe, if I got this wrong, please tell me if I got this wrong. I believe she sent me this to sell if I didn't use it, because she knows I sell a lot of Hobo International. Already, no. Exactly, Jay, exactly. Okay, so this is a Hobo International wallet and just a like a crayon green, green color. And if this wallet is too big for me, I, <coughs> I use the little, little wallet. So this is super, super cute. Hobo International. I sell tons and tons of Hobo. I wish I would open one of these up and find money. I forgot I put, oh, there's my baby. There's my baby right there. Hello. Hello. Hello, pumpkin head. Okay, so zipper that goes all the way. This could be used just like a little clutch. ID window, card slots. You missed a part was in town, home, can't watch for resale. These are my favorite, yeah. If you're into larger, chunky wallets, these are super, super fantastic. Your fiance is naive and every time I see detail like this, I think so, <laughs> tribal work. Hit the, th oh yes, thank you guys. If you wanna hit the thumbs up for me, that would be great. Yeah, she's got a ponytail. She's got, she looks like her mama. <laughs> so, okay, so let me show you the inside of this. This is the zipper part. And then this back one has all the credit card slots. Where did I get this? There's a bookmark. Where did this come from? Actually, down there, guys, <laughs> thank you for the emojis. But if you look down at the bottom of their screen, there's a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You could do either either or. It's okay with me. But if you'll thumbs up, it just gives uh, um, YouTube that you guys, I can just talk purses. I can't think of what I'm thinking of. The algorithm. That's what it is. Algorithm. It works with algorithms. So, Anyways, here's the inside. I'm like just getting so distracted today. Anyways, here's this per wallet. Super cute. And it's by Hobo International. Hope the green color is coming through. There's some little scratches. If you don't like them, you can buff them out with a soft rag. I like scratches. Okay. And then we have, here's another one I wanted to keep. Another one. Do you guys like Tianello? I do. So this chocolate brown Tianello all leather bag, tote bag. It's got two front pockets, two back pockets, cute detail on each side. I'll try it on for you real quick like. Like the perfect size tote. Okay, so then the nice rolled leather handles with a really nice um, strap drop length. It has an ivory contrast stitching. It's got the little Tianello hang tag. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Gail. It's got a zip top closure. Uh, brush brass hardware or antique brass, whichever sounds better. That's what it has. Yes, Tianello bags are awesome. Then the inside is super clean with a zipper pocket and two zipper, one, two slip pockets. Nice light interior. I know, Kristen. Yep, you and me both, girlfriend. We both love that just vintagey looking leather for sure. Here's the bottom. And it's got the little zipper pull. 
This is just a super awesome everyday, looks super cute with everything purse. Okay, so that's it for today's bag sale, you guys. Did you like it? Ooh, the wind's starting to blow out there. Okay, you guys, so well, guess what I'll do now is I will go ahead and thank you, Jenny. Thank you so much. Let me see if there's anything I missed on here I need to answer. Thank you, Miss Gail. Uh, let's see. Okay, I think I don't have any questions on here. If you do have a question, please ask me. Thank you, One Feline. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for joining me every day. You guys are awesome. You guys, I got my lips touched up yesterday. Can you tell? And they're sore today. My top lip is sore. Move to Canada. Honey, I'd freeze, I'd freeze to death if I moved to Canada. Right now, it's supposed to be 80, I think 82 to degrees, which I'm happy about. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you, Gina. I, it looks like I have lip liner on, but I don't. Little, they're they're swollen today, so they're like um, bigger than than they're going to be. They're going to go down. Does it hurt? Um, no, it doesn't hurt because what they do is they gave me a shot here, a shot here, a numbing numbing shot. One, two, three, four, and of course it pinches a little when you're getting your numbing shots, but um, you can't feel anything at all when they're injecting the uh, filler. So I say do it. If you want to do it, life is short. Do it. Thank you, Cassandra. Thank you, Diana. Okay, you guys. So I'm just going to finish up here then. Is it different from lip tattoo? I don't know. I've never had a lip tattoo done. I have tattoos done. It's definitely not as painful as a regular tattoo. You can, they don't numb anything when you get a tattoo. Oh, thanks, Pink Sugar. Oh, Pink Sugar, I just wanted to let you know, you're on my Patreon, right? I'm going to be updating. Randy's getting his surgery on the 21st, and they're going to find out what the mass is, and I'll be posting on my Patreon what happens in his surgery in case anybody over there has been wondering and you're on my Patreon, I will be filming and letting everybody know shortly what they find in my hubby. So, okay, you guys, hugs and kisses to all. I hope everybody has a super wonderful day and I will catch you on tomorrow's video. Goodbye, my loves.